Nix, a purely functional package manager and system configuration tool that allows developers to say it works on my machine with absolute confidence. It was created in 2003 by Il Koldolstra, who wrote his PhD thesis on a purely functional software deployment model. 20 years later, it's used by tons of software projects like Mozilla Firefox, Google's IDX, and of course, NixOS, a complete Linux distro based on this package manager. But why Nix? When you set up your own Linux server, the default approach is to SSH into it and start running a bunch of commands that you copied from random places on the internet. The problem is that it quickly becomes impossible to reproduce the state of your machine. And if you mess something up, there's no undo button. Nix users don't have these problems because it provides its own declarative language to define packages, network settings, the file system, environment variables, users, and everything else you need in a .nix file. This file is like a blueprint that can now reproduce the same machine over and over again. Now, any changes to this config are transactional or atomic, meaning everything succeeds or fails together. A huge advantage of that is when you screw something up, you can easily roll back to the previous state. It's like having a time machine for your machine. This is possible because in the Nix store, each package and its dependencies are stored in a separate directory identified by a unique cryptographic hash, which guarantees that packages won't interfere with each other. And with Nix shell, you can create unique environments for all of your projects. That means side-by-side -side installation for all of your tools in their different versions without the need for version managers like NVM, Virtual ENV, or Rustup. Because it's all declarative and deterministic, you can organize your configs as flakes and then trade them with your friends like their Pokemon cards. To get started, install the Nix package manager, or better yet, live boot Nix OS to try it out as a full Linux distro. Inside the etc directory, you'll find a configuration.nix file. You can think of this file as a function that returns a dictionary or hash map. At the top, we have parameters for config, which gives us access to the entire configuration, and packages, which includes all the packages available on Nix OS. Next, with imports, we can break up our config into multiple smaller files to keep things organized. But the real magic of Nix is being able to configure the entire system right here, like set the bootloader to Grub2, or set the time zone to Arizona, or add a user like Alice who has pseudo privileges. Not only is that way more efficient than the user add command in Linux, but it's explicit, declarative, and reproducible. Now, if I want to add a new package like Metasploit, I can add it here, and then run Nix OS rebuild switch. This will download the package and all of its dependencies, and rebuild the system. Pretty cool, but what's really awesome is that if we made a mistake, we can list out all of the generations, and then easily roll back to a previous version. This has been Nix in 100 seconds. Amazing tools like this exist because good developers understand how to solve problems, and you can start developing your problem-solving skills for free today thanks to this video sponsor, Brilliant. It doesn't matter which Linux distro you use, but rather how well you use it to solve problems. Brilliant's platform will introduce you to essential programming concepts, but most importantly, the hands-on exercises will develop your brain to recognize and solve complex problems that developers need to overcome on a daily basis. Best of all, every lesson is concise and rewarding. But by investing just a few minutes each day, you'll develop habits that can level up your programming skills for the rest of your life. And you can do it anywhere, even from your phone. To try everything Brilliant has to offer for free for 30 days, visit brilliant.org slash fireship or scan this QR code for 20% off their premium annual subscription. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.